Hello everyone, this is Michael from UEN uh, talking in this video about how to create a rubric based on outcomes. I'm in the Engaging Online Learning with Canvas class right now and I've already made an assignment for week two where students have to create a visual homepage, kind of like mine, that has pictures on it and links. So what I'm going to do is go into the outcomes section of my course and start building some outcomes that I can then use in a rubric for that assignment. When I get to the outcomes page, you'll see that I have a place to make a new outcome or a new group. If I want to group my outcomes together, like let's say a math teacher might do for any skills related to polynomials, I could make a new group first and then put those outcomes into that group. Also, if I need to find any outcomes, like Common Core Standards or anything like that, I can click on Find and then start looking through the Common Core State Standards. And in this case, I'm looking at K-12 English Language Arts or Math for the state of Utah. And you'll see that they're broken down by grades. So if there are any Common Core Standards you need, you can just go and find them and then click the Import button once you're there. For this um, assignment, however, I need to create some new outcomes. So I'm going to click on New Outcome and then give it a name. The first outcome for this assignment is create a page. So I'm calling it create a content page and if I want to give it a friendly name here I could, you know, if that was something too technical, but I think I'm alright. And then I have to come down to the rich text editor which is just like you've seen in your pages and discussions and put in a description. I can also put in images, movies, uh, any links or anything like that, but I'll just put in a simple sentence. Now underneath of this description is a place for the criterion ratings. If you have a broad spectrum like exceeding expectations and meeting expectations and things like that, you can either insert and put in new qualifiers and change the points, or just click on the pen here and change your um, rating and how many points it's worth there. Or you can delete it. So what I'm going to do on mine is change meets expectations to just be two points and then does not meet expectations as zero and I'll insert in between there um, approaching or needs help and then I would put one point there. Okay, And in this case I have to determine where mastery is achieved and on this one it would be achieved at two. And then my calculation method is kind of complicated here by default, they put decaying average. And what that means is that the most recent activity that a student does will qualify for 65% of their final score, and then the rest, you know, goes into like a 35% kind of decaying average. And you can adjust that number as well if you want. What I like to do is just put it um, most recent score or highest score. And if you want to do an average, that's the same as n number of times. So let's say most recent score. That way, if this um, outcome is in multiple assignments going through the course of this class, whatever you did last will be whether or not you're reaching or at mastery or staying at mastery. So once I've made this outcome, I click Save, and it will be then listed right there, create a content page. Let's make two more outcomes real quick just so you can see them. The next one is called set page as home page. And I'll just write right here, student can select a page. There we go. And then I come down here again. I'm just going to delete all of these. And this is something that either you can do or you can't do, right? So I'm going to make, you know, meets expectations or completed, and that will be worth one point. And then insert here, I'll just say incomplete, and that will be worth a zero. Mastery in this case would be at one, and I'll keep the highest score. Say save, and then my third one for this assignment that I'm working on right now, click new outcome. This one will say um, insert images. OK, 
Okay, this one, I'm gonna be a little funky with it. I'll delete the five. Okay, meets expectations. Three points. Okay, then for two points, what I'll say can link to images. All right. And for one point, attempted to add images, uh, but broken link. You get one point for that. So we've got three, two, one on this one, and I'll keep mastery at three. Highest score. And now that I'm thinking about it, I have one more outcome to add, and that one will be um, link content within page. And I'll just put there, student can put links on a page. There we go. This one will be simple, so we'll get rid of the five, get rid of the three. We'll say that for one point, they completed it. Actually, let's get real fun with this. Inserted a link <clears throat> to text or image, okay? And then one point will be inserted the HTML link, which we all know is kind of ugly looking. So we'll give that one point. And mastery in this one is reached to two, and again, this will be the highest score. All right, so I've made my outcomes. See them all over here? And they're all for the same assignment. So if I wanted to, I could make a new group called um, Creating Content in Canvas. And then, if I want, I can put all of these into that folder just by dragging and dropping them. Pretty fancy. Okay, so now I've got a folder and my outcomes are in there. Hope that makes sense. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to put these into a rubric.